Hey guys, it's The Faceless Beanie and in this video I'll be talking everything Rivens. This video will explain what Rivens are, how to get them and how their stats work. Spoiler, if you've not completed the War Within quest, then Rivens don't matter yet. Let's get into it. Firstly, what are Rivens? Riven mods are unique weapon mods that only fit into one specific weapon, which is named on the mod itself. So if it's a Kua Brahma Riven, you'll only be able to use it on the Kua Brahma. The Rivens have a Mashi rank requirement, ranging from Mashi rank 8 to 16 and they can have a Madurai, Vazarin or Neramon polarity at random. I'll talk about Riven stats later in the video. Let's get on to how to get Rivens. The first Riven you'll ever receive is via completion of the War Within quest. After that, the main way of course is via sorties. You have a chance at obtaining a melee, pistol, rifle, zor, kit gun and shotgun Riven from them every single day. Each Night to Wave season usually has a Riven as one of the reward tiers as well, so look out for that. You can also redeem a 75 Steel Essence which you obtain from the Steel Path for a Kit Gun, Zor, Shotgun or Rifle Riven from Teshin. The Riven types he offers are rotational rewards, so depending on what's available for the week, you can decide if you want it or not. You'll be able to get Companion Weapon Rivens from Cephalon Simaris' offerings and Art Gun Rivens from Arbitration Honors. After every dev stream, there's usually a gift of the Lotus Alert which goes up, they'll grant you a certain kind of Riven, so look out for those. Finally, Riven Slivers. These are Riven mod fragments which you can obtain from Eximus units in the Steel Path, or Jackal in the Steel Path. You can also obtain them as a reward from Railjack missions, or most commonly from Requiem Relics. These are the relics you use to obtain Requiem mods for your Kuva Liches. Once you have 10 slivers, you can approach Paladino in the Iron Wake to craft a random ribbon mod excluding art gun and companion weapon ribbons. You can only do this once a week. When you obtain a ribbon, it's veiled. You'll need to complete the challenge stated on the ribbon in order to unlock it. These challenges can range from trivial tasks like completing an exterminate mission without getting detected to slightly more mundane tasks like finding 24 syndicate medallions. There's 20 different challenges which can appear on a ribbon. Completing the challenge unveils the Riven, so now you'll find out what weapon the Riven is for, what polarity it is, the martial rank requirement it has, and its stats. A Riven stats can be in any one of the following formats. Two positive stats, three positive stats, two positive stats and one negative stat, or three positive stats and one negative stat. So you'd think you'd want two or three positive stats alone, but the truth is having a negative stat on a Riven greatly improves the quality of the positive stat. There's 31 different attributes that you can randomly obtain as part of your Riven. Each of these attributes has a base value that's predetermined. Then there's two different multipliers that the base values are multiplied by to get your Riven stats. The first multiplier depends on the Riven format. So if you have a Riven with just two positive stats, there's no multiplier. But if you add a negative stat to that, your positive stats receive a 1.25 times multiplier while your negative will receive a 0.5 times multiplier. So with a negative stat, your positive stats are boosted. Same applies for three positive and three positive with one negative. The multiplier is adjusted in this case. The other multiplier is Riven Disposition. Riven Disposition is a Riven stat multiplier ranging from 0.5 times to 1.55 times. These are determined by the system based on weapon usage statistics. So more popular weapons will have weaker Rivens because they'll have lower Riven Dispositions and therefore a lower stat multiplier. Since weapon usage statistics change over time, so do Riven Dispositions. Riven Dispositions will change with every Prime Access, so that's roughly every 3 months. Do take note that Riven Disposition can be different for each variant of a weapon. If you have a Grokata Riven and you put it on a Prisma Grokata, you might get different stats than you would do on the regular Grokata because of the disposition difference. There's a link in the description for an updated list of dispositions for all weapons. So how are your Riven stats calculated? First of all, you use the base value of a stat. Keep in mind that the actual stat can be between 90% and 110% of its base value randomly. Then take this and multiply by the two multipliers. Since it's just two positive stats here, there's no multiplier for that, but the disposition is 1.52 times. So 89.1% times 1.52, I'll get 135.43%, which is around 135.2% maximum that my Agzani ribbon has. Same thing for any other ribbon. 
Right, so what if you don't like the stats on your ribbon? Simple, you can re-roll it. This will consume Kova, a special resource which can be farmed separately. Your first re-roll will cost you 900 Kova, but every time you re-roll, it'll cost more and more Kova until you hit the cap of 3500 Kova at 10 re-rolls. Beyond that, it'll just be 3500 Kova each roll. When you re-roll your ribbon, you'll be able to choose to maintain its stats as they were before, or change them to the new re-rolled stats. This is not reversible. The Marshy rank requirement and the polarity of the Riven are unaffected by rerolls. Finally, what are the ideal stats for a Riven? Well, this greatly depends on the weapon you're using, but in general, it needs to be better than the mod you're sacrificing for it. As a rule of thumb, both critical stats and multi-shot are always good to have, along with status charms and raw damage, especially if coupled with a good negative, like a negative zoom. Alright, that's about it. If you have any questions or want to correct me on something, please do it in the comments down below or visit my stream on Twitch and let me know over there. I try to stream every day. I hope to help you out. This is The Faceless Beanie, signing out.